Hi everybody, welcome back to Endangered Species in Art. And today we are going to make a three-toed sloth. Three-toed sloths are the slowest mammal on the planet and they are part of the bradypus family. They're called a bradypus. Isn't that funny? So this is my little bradypus here, the three-toed sloth. So in order to start, you're going to need a black crayon, which makes it super easy because everybody has one of those, I hope. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is find the center of the paper. So equal distance to this and this. You can eye it, it doesn't have to be exact, but you can put just a tiny little dot in the center of your paper and that should be a good way to start. The first thing we're gonna do is make this round, this oval face right here. And you can see that it's directly across from that dot. So coming over next to the dot, right about between the dot and the end of your paper, we're going to make two eyes. You can even use your finger here to space them apart. And there's one eye, and there's the other eye right there. And this little three-toed sloth has a rectangular nose and a very nice smile. And now that you have the face done, you know how large to make your oval, don't you? So we're gonna draw an oval right around this face right here, just like that. And now, most sloths have darkness around their eyes. So we're gonna be making an interesting line that goes diagonally up, circles the eye, and goes back to the side. And the same thing on the other side, just like that. Easy peasy, huh? We're gonna make another line that goes right over the top like this. So starting right on this line where we did the eyes, we're gonna go right over the top like that, stop at the other side, just like that. We don't have to go any further. And now we're going to be making the body. The body swings around this way and goes all the way over here. You might want to stop his body right about there because we don't want it to be too long. So do you see my invisible line? This is where we're going to be going right about here. Just a curved line. So he looks like he's hanging from that tree. And there we go. If you don't hit the line exactly, that's okay. Don't worry about that. All right. And we're gonna be uh, making the two arms at the top here. You can see that they're hanging above because sloths hang from trees. Did you know that they sleep during the day 15, 18 hours a day? That's a lot, isn't it? So let's make one arm. It's just an oval and his other arm right next to it there we go and of course he has three toes one two three on this side one two three on that side now let's see hmm if we're keeping in a line here then the other two feet should stop right about there this line and this line are together. So we're gonna stop this leg right about there. And we're gonna come all the way down and meet the edge of the body there. And you can see that this is his back and his back leg. And this is pretty easy because all we have to do is stop right about where the other one stopped and make another one that's about the same height. And of course, here is our sloth's tummy. It can go right under that line or right through that line, whatever works best for you. And of course, three toes here, three toes here. They need those toes to hang on the branch. So I think we will make the branch next. And we're gonna be using a line that we're skipping over our legs so that it looks like they are hanging behind the branch. So let's start our branch on the top. It comes out, it can bend a little bit because branches are not machines, so they're a little bit curved. Skip over the toes, 
skip over the toes and all the way here. Whoops, and this guy's a little bit so that our branch can go down right there. And curve up at the top there. And now he needs a thick branch or he would fall on the ground. I'm gonna do the same thing, skipping over the leg. Draw your line, skip over all the way. And your line should match this one here. So this one goes down if you did what I did. Your legs might be all different lengths. And that's fine too. Because sloths live in the tropical forest of Central and South America, we need to make some tropical leaves and things around. So how about, hmm, let's see. To get rid of this dot right here, why don't we draw a leaf right there? So I'm going to start with the middle, and I'm going to make my line go almost to the dot, and then I'm going to use that dot for my point on my leaf. And this leaf goes all the way off the page. You can see that I'm drawing around behind the tree, how I skipped over the branch. If you accidentally go over the branch, you can color your branch with your crayon and that will get rid of that line if you don't like that, okay? And you can make other leaves, leaves that curve, leaves that come from the sides, leaves that are pointy, all kinds of tropical leaves. There's also flowers in the tropics. And you can make simple flowers like this one. You can do a circle. Any kind of flowers that you like. You know how to make flowers. We've made flowers together before. You can make a fancy flower. Like this. Petal hopping. You can make a butterfly because butterflies are in the tropics. All kinds of things like this. Sloths like to hang out at night because they sleep during the day, so sometimes they eat a lot. They mostly eat leaves and fruit, so maybe there's a banana bush right here with some delicious bananas. Or our friend. They even get most of their water from plants like that. So here's my bananas right there. All right, and it's time to start with our color. Now I used watercolor on this and you can see that I actually did some orange dots on the background before I painted but some of you do not have watercolors. I'm gonna show you how to water, watercolor first, and then I wanna show you how to do it with markers, okay? So I think we all know that our sloth would be brown, but if you want your sloth to be yellow and purple stripes, or whatever colors you think that your sloth should be, you can do that, okay? So I'm going to concentrate on how I did this leaf with the yellow inside. So using my paintbrush, I'm dipping it into the water right here. And I'm gonna choose a green. This leaf's going to be green. And I'm going to paint around the edge with my green. A little more water. The more paint you put in your paintbrush, you can see that it gets darker. And I'm letting that be kind of wet. I'm cleaning out my paintbrush because if you don't, it gets dirty in the middle, doesn't it? And then we don't have yellow anymore. All we have is two kinds of green. And now I'm just going to Put some yellow in the center and I'm going to let it mix in with that yellow. See how I'm mixing it in? Oh, that's so pretty. I like what's happening there. That's really awesome. 
and some of you only have markers. So I'm gonna show you what to do with them. So we are going to have green on the outside with our regular washable marker, just like we did with our paints. And we're going to put some yellow on the inside. And you can actually leave it like this if you want to, but I'm gonna add water. And you can see what happens when I add some water to it. Here's my paintbrush. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water and look what happens to our marker. It turns into paint. Isn't that awesome? So whether you have watercolor or markers, you can make some beautiful, beautiful designs. You don't have, you can do your um, butterfly with markers. You don't have to do them paint them in or anything if you want to make a beautiful design. You can color with anything you like. If you want to do these spots in the background, if you want them to actually be a different color, uh, crayon's the best. And I'll show you how you can do that. Yeah, we need an orange crayon. Let's get one out of here. And I'm making some dots on here. And of course, you know that you can paint over crayon and it shows through, see? Three tote sloth, spends most of its time in the trees. It even has its babies up there. And their babies hang on them when they're growing up and learn how to do that. But I just can't imagine sleeping 18 hours a day. That's more than half the day. That would be like if you were sleeping two nights in a row in one day. So you go to bed and you wake up and then immediately go back to bed for the same amount of time and wake up. Oh my goodness, we wouldn't have time to do art or anything, would we? I hope you enjoyed this. Have fun making your three-toed slot. See you next time.